You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. First on 11 Alive, who will bring home the title? 11 Alive sports team is in Los Angeles with a preview of UGA's championship chase. Here is a live look from the City of Angels outside SoFi Stadium. If you are catching a last minute flight to the game, we have a look at everything you need to know. It's a bit of a cool start to the work week. Cool this morning. You're going to need that uh, heavy jacket, but we'll gradually warm it up, though, as we head through the week. More details coming up. All right. Can you feel it? The excitement is building for the national championship game tonight. UGA takes on TCU. The dogs hoping for that repeat title. 11 Lies Reggie Chapman is in Los Angeles with a preview of the matchup. Good morning, Reggie. Good morning, everybody. It's finally game day. It's the national championship, Georgia versus TCU for all the marbles out here on the West Coast. Of course, both these teams got here in two very different ways. The Bulldogs looking to complete the perfect season and win their back to back national championship. As for TCU, their Cinderella season continues. They're looking to win their first title in a very, very long time under first year head coach Sonny Dykes, who has his team believing in him the entire way through. Of course, Georgia's defense has so many of the headlines in this game, but TCU's defense has done their part to get them to this position as well. An opportunistic group that has got them in the national championship game this year. Of course, we have all of your coverage from here in Los Angeles all day long. Maria Martin and myself will be inside of SoFi Stadium ahead of the big game with live shots all day long. Guys. All right, we'll see you soon, Reggie. Thank you. Our team coverage continues in Los Angeles. That is where we find Jerry Carnes in front of SoFi Stadium. Jerry, so it's about uh, 349 in the morning there. Barely game day, but it counts, and there's still a lot of excitement. Oh, definitely excitement building all throughout Los Angeles. There's a little light rain right now falling around SoFi Stadium. It's supposed to storm a little bit later today. Fortunately, the stadium is covered, so it won't be an issue during the game, but it could make it a little tricky for fans going from their car in to the stadium. Of course, remember, there are signs everywhere reminding folks no tailgating in the parking lots around SoFi Stadium. Bulldog fans don't like that very much, but they do like the fact that Georgia could be going from for history, the first team to win back-to-back -back titles during the playoff era. Alabama had three chances to do that. They failed each time. It was Georgia that stopped Alabama from repeating last year. Now it's Georgia's turn to give it a try. Only TCU standing in the way. Kickoff at 7.30 tonight. There will be a lot of red and black around this stadium then. Back to you. No doubt, Jerry. And a lot of people would like to get to where you're standing, so they are trying to get on last flights out of Atlanta to Los Angeles. We continue our coast-to-coast -coast coverage for you with Molly Oak live at the airport. Molly, you caught up with some fans, even one of the players' parents. Yeah, that was a lucky one to find. I saw a mom sporting a jersey, so you know we had to chat with her. She had all the energy we needed, and little did I know there'd be a lot of fans following behind her. We saw plenty of red and back, black and heard a whole lot of barking this morning. Take a look at this video. We saw lots of Georgia fans at the airport, but we know plenty of folks headed out this weekend as well. Some fans we spoke with said they've been planning to go to this game for months. Lots of faithful fans way before they even knew if Georgia would make it in to the championship. Others decided to snag a last minute flight to make sure they could be in L.A. to see the dogs, just like this mom we talked with bright and early this morning, who's heading to L.A. to watch her freshman son play. He is ecstatic. He called me last night and he was like, my adrenaline is pumping, mom, my adrenaline. I said, let it keep pumping. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> and we're feeling that pumping adrenaline right here at the airport. And listen, I was born and raised in Florida. You all are smart. I'll let you draw your own conclusions on what that means. But she even had me wanting to do a little bit of barking this morning. And we're going to be looking for number 23, thinking about her. Molly, I bet she's already planning out what she's going to say when she finally gets to see him. Yeah, that was one of my first questions to her. Three things she said. First, she's going to give him a hug, give him a little pep talk, and say, let's go get this natty. What a way to start a freshman year. All right. Thanks a lot, Molly. So fans can get together and watch the game in Athens tonight. There's going to be a big watch party at the Coliseum. Doors opening at 630. Free admission for UGA students, faculty, and staff. Only clear bags are allowed. And the Battery Sports and Social Sports Bar is going to host the watch party starting at 5 tonight in the heart of the Battery Atlanta. Only standing room tickets are left. You can get them online right now, live at thebatteryatlanta.com. You know we're going to have coverage for you all day long of UGA's championship chase, so tune in.
tonight at 5, 6, and 11, Reggie and Maria will be live with the latest before and after the title game. Jerry Carnes will be back up with us tomorrow morning. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, Georgia lawmakers are going to kick off the new legislative session under the Gold Dome today. From limitations on abortion to affordable housing, there are some key issues that could be up and decided this year. Ariana Maniz has a closer look. Georgia lawmakers will be back under the Gold Dome as the state Senate and House of Representatives. They will kick off their respective legislative session starting today. Politics will be at play this 2023 General Assembly session as state lawmakers are planning to introduce legislation to address legalizing sports betting, changing how medical marijuana licenses are granted and banning women from getting abortion inducing drugs by mail. Other topics expected to come up include crime and mental health. 11 Alive spoke with Democrat 10 Republicans at the 60th annual Wild Hog Supper, a fundraiser for the nonprofit group Feeding Georgia and lawmakers. They tell us they are prepping for a busy session where a host of issues impacting Georgians will be front and center this session. Now both chambers will gavel in today and this legislative session is expected to run through March 30th. Back to you. Turning out at some other top headlines today marks the first full week of what is expected to be a very long jury selection process in the trial against Young Thug and 13 other members of the alleged YSL gang. The court is looking for 12 jurors and some alternates. At least 400 potential jury members have already been reviewed. Still, the judge says this process could take about five to six weeks. The entire process from jury selection to verdict could take nearly a year. President Joe Biden is headed to Atlanta next weekend. The White House says he's going to deliver remarks on Sunday at Ebenezer Baptist Church to help honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Gas prices are back on the rise and things could get more expensive for you this week. New numbers from AAA show today's state average is 281. That's about five cents more than a week ago. Georgia's gas tax suspension, which has been saving you just under 30 cents a gallon for the past few months, it ends tomorrow. Chesley. All right, thanks a lot, guys. By noon today, we're looking at temperatures right around 48 degrees. We'll have mostly sunny skies out there. It's going to be nice, but a bit breezy as well. Looking at a high around 53. That's right where we should be for this time of year, but we can do better. We'll start to warm it up as we head into the day tomorrow. Driving home, a few more clouds will work in, especially after the sun sets. 48 degrees will be your temperature by 6 o'clock tonight. All right, go dogs. All right, <laughs> have fun watching the game tonight, everybody. We pass it off to the Today Show now. We look forward to being back with you tomorrow morning here on 11 Live Morning News. Have a great day. Ooh. <laughs>